So, hi dear Virgos, a very very good afternoon to you guys. This is Anjali Tarot and this is a general love reading for all the Virgos, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, the rules can be reversed anytime. Third thing, this is a reading from 11 till the 21st of October. So, let's start your partner's current feelings for you. Let's see your partner's current feelings for you right now, Virgo. Let's see. Ten of Pentacles, okay. Somebody feels like you are a family and... Oh my God, some kind of commitment or marriage or something broke here, fell apart. But this person still feels like a family. They feel like a connection with you. I have to clarify this before saying anything further. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you might be dealing with. Let me clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Let's see... Five of Wands and the King of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. Yes, something fell apart. Still, they feel love for you. Okay, they are internally very, very conflicted. This is somebody who is not talking to you or you are not talking to them. There is some kind of blockage in communication or there is less communication happening between you guys right now. This person is waiting very, very eagerly. Very, very eagerly for some kind of clarity, for some kind of truth, for some kind of communication so that you guys can proceed further or you can just leave this forever. So, truth and clarity is required. This is what they feel in this connection to proceed further in their life. This is what is happening, Virgo. Yeah, you could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius and uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person and you had a marriage or commitment or some kind of solid connection between you guys. Now things are going up and down. This person is waiting for the clarity and the truth of this connection. They still feel a very deep connection with you that I'm very sure about. So the roles can be reversed anytime. Please keep that in mind. Let me see what you feel for this person. Let's see what you feel for this person. Virgo, temperance, you are being very, very patient. You are stuck on this person. You do have options in your life, but you are kind of stuck on this person. You are being very, very patient with the situation. You are being like an angel. You are like, I am going to uh, wait. I am not going to overreact. I am not going to say anything that's going to hurt me or the other person or something. So you are just waiting. You feel like waiting. You feel like uh, keeping your temper down. You feel like being an angel of her or his life. Let me clarify the temperance. Could be dealing with the Saji. You are being very, very patient. Eight of Swords and the Six of Cups and the Eight of Wands. You are very much conflicted from inside about this re reconciliation. You are not very much sure about this reconciliation, actually. But you are patiently waiting for some kind of communication, for some kind of clarity, for some kind of heart-to-heart, -heart, back-and-forth communication. You feel like... Uh, for some of you, it's happening from the past eight weeks. Keep in, you know, uh, try to uh, try to remember the past eight weeks and then uh, understand what's happening. I feel you are waiting very patiently for communication for this reconciliation thing hap uh, to happen. Okay, from a very long time, but you are not very much sure whether this should happen or not. That's why a clarity, a truth is required from your side also, from their side also. You both are conflicted, you both are waiting for some kind of action from each other. But mostly I feel like this is you who is waiting for this person to take some kind of action regarding this situation with you. And you are not very much sure what to do about the reconciliation, what to do about this situation. You still have a soul tie, soul connection between you guys, okay? But both of you are not might be taking any action. But both of you are not able to move on actually from each other also. So let's see what this person wants from you. So you could be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's see what this person wants from you, Virgo. Nine of Pentacles, they want you to be single. Okay, they want you to come out of the confusion and do not be available to other options. This is sick. Okay, anyway. This person wants you to be single and independent. Might be available for themselves only. <laughs> Let me clarify, Nine of Pentacles as, they, as what they want from you. Or they could be the one who want to be single and independent and available for you. Let me clarify the Nine of Pentacles.
द हैंड मैन द नाइट ऑफ वॉर्स द व्हील ऑफ फॉर्चून या टू ऑफ कप्स सी दिस पर्सन वॉन्ट्स यू टू बी कम्प्लीटली सिंगल एंड इंडिपेंडेंट एंड टू रिमूव दिस अनस्टक एनर्जी बिटवीन यू गाइज एंड टेक सम काइंड ऑफ एक्शन ओके टेक सम काइंड ऑफ एक्शन रिगार्डिंग द सिचुएशन एंड कीप थिंग्स कैजुअल बिटवीन यू एंड एज ऑफ नाउ दिस इज वॉट दे वॉन्ट बिकॉज दे वॉन्ट स्लोली बट श्योरली दे विल सी वेयर थिंग्स कैन गो okay this is what they want they want you to be single they want you to take some kind of action they want you to remove the unstuck energies but uh, they want you to unstuck the energies between you guys okay the stuck energies and then slowly but surely they will see where things go, can go so right now they just want to keep things casual and little bit intimate as well yeah aries leo sagittarius taurus virgo capricorn let's see what you want honey that matters what you want virgo what do you want from this situation or this person you okay you want to come out of this confusing state of mind two of pentacles you want to come out of this back and forth energy might be this person is juggling or they are struggling they are like going back and forth on and off in your life and you are like i'm fed up of all this nonsense i want stability in my life i want a soul connection a deep soul uh, mid level of understanding let me clarify the two of pentacles see uh, these are all our wishes and desires so whatever the universe has planned it's only going to happen at the divine timing let me clarify the two of pentacles for you knight of swords two of pentacles and uh, two of wands and ace of pentacles sorry so two of pentacles is clarified by the knight of swords two of wands and ace of pentacles you want this person to not to rush into anything and take a particular decision stick to that decision and then come forward co forward with an offer towards you the offer can be of you know staying away to uh, staying away forever or it can be of staying together and starting this connection all over again but do not juggle do not go back and forth do not always be in this struggling energy i want this i don't want this i don't want this i don't want this so you are kind of fed up of all this nonsense okay this conflict in and uh, uh, juggling energy so you just want this person to stick to one decision and do the things as per that decision this is the thick period taurus virgo capricorn aries leo sagittarius gemini libra aquarius let's see now what's coming what's the universe says for you oh my god i have to reshuffle honey too many cards let's see what the universe has for you what's coming towards it on the 21st of october virgo sun card happiness some kind of truth clarity some kind of stability in this connection or in your life in general the sun is the happiest card in the deck so happiness is on the way i have to clarify this happiness i don't want to ruin it honey do not want to ruin it let me clarify the sun card what is that truth and clarity what is happening three of wands ten of pentacles four of pentacles yeah okay the happiness that you are waiting that the thing that you are waiting for is going to happen whatever you are waiting for is going to happen your ships are arriving and it's going to be very very wonderful abundant time of your life and i feel like you will be not that much open to it you know you will be uh, or else if it is coming you will be like i want this per, this this particular moment to stay with me forever so you are going to catch this memories or you are going to keep this memories very close to your heart so something very happy very beautiful that you are waiting for is about to happen okay you are waiting for this thing to happen from a very long time now for for some of you it's uh, happening from 19 months for some of you 19 weeks and 19 days is not that much longer but i feel 19 is a very important number for you guys right now or go so something that you are uh, waiting for is going to happen your ships are arriving you are going to feel very beautiful very very happy it's going to make you something very stable something very beautiful is uh, coming for some of you lots of money lots of abundance is coming your way i know it's not related to love but it is happening for some of you right for others of you a uh, stable connection a stability in your connection is happening that you are waiting for and you are going to keep these moments very close to your heart so you have to be open to receive okay so thank you so much for tuning in i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste